So it's actually nearly been one whole year since Toby Fox has gave us an update on Delta Rune Chapter 2. And uh, yeah, that title and thumbnail. We finally got an update on our hands. Get excited. So going on over to Toby Fox's official Twitter, he did say a few days ago as of this video that Undertale's fifth anniversary is in two weeks. There's going to be a special article about it in next week's Famitsu. No crazy announcements are planned for the day, but we've prepared a little something to show fans on September 15th. And he's got a little emoji of a cute doggo there. But then he dropped the news that, yep, Famitsu is out. There's a really brief update about Delta Rune in it. However, even if you can't read it, don't worry. I'm planning to give a detailed status update about how the game's development is going on the anniversary. So, if there's anything really interested stated by Toby Fox himself on Undersoul's anniversary to do with Delta Rune, I'll be sure to give you guys another update video like this one here. But if there isn't, uh, after we've done this video and yeah, it's pretty similar to what we actually go on to see in this video Then I won't We're, we'll see what happens. We'll see But yeah, the juice is that as he said the Famitsu is out and there is already something to do with Delta Rune, Which we are gonna go into right now And here it is. I don't think there's anything else in the Famitsu covering Delta Rune here There could be stuff about Undertale and that it just talks about it because it is the Undertale fifth anniversary so this is a real interesting look here and we do have some slight translations to be had with what's going on here and i will read those up uh now so i think this little block of text here is the text that's been translated if there's anything missing you guys can read japanese or know anything let me know in the comment section down below but yeah thanks to cringe nene baby 2 we have a rough translation here. The general outline of all chapters is complete. The first draft of all the cutscene dialogue is complete. They started development on chapter 2 several months ago and development is going well. Despite hurting his wrist seven months ago, Toby and the team have been able to develop things at a faster pace than they did with chapter 1. All thanks to the support of his team. They're very confident in how the game's progressing, but it's still going to be a while before it's all complete though. All right, so yeah, I think again, that is the translation to do with the uh, block of text being had here, the block of Japanese text being had there. But yeah, let's talk about the images here because the first one we're seeing, Chris, Susie, and Raozai as medics? What's the reason? I'm not entirely sure. Of course, I'm gonna be completely spitballing here and I could obviously be wrong or just randomly somehow right when the game releases but as of now we have no idea what this really means uh maybe toby fox will detail this uh on the actual 15th of uh undertale's fifth anniversary but um for now just spitballing and just going off of what we see so maybe it is to do with the in-game story of chapter two maybe they come into a situation where they need to wear these outfits and they get weapons to do these outfits as we can see chris got some kind of like pills going on here and some kind of cup of hot something kind of maybe some kind of medical brew not entirely sure susie with the big syringe there dang and then Raozai with a cake but yeah maybe it's something to do with that or it's a cosmetic thing maybe we're actually gonna be able to change up outfits in this game i don't know because if you guys actually see at the bottom where the health bars are where their faces are had as well rousey is still having that whole picture with the initial look of him in chapter one but in the actual battle he has the look of him when we finally see his real face reveal at the end of chapter one. So, I don't know. I, I'm not entirely sure here. Again, could be do, to do with the story or it could be a cosmetic thing and something you can make him wear for a laugh. I have no idea. There's nothing like that in the original Undertale, but of course Delta Rune, it's, is, it is is own complete thing. And Toby is doing a lot of different stuff to be had here, including with the battles and actually having a team of more than just being you, of course, and just you being the gentlest frisk that we were. And yeah, this is going to be so many different changes to be had here. So it could be cosmetic or it could be story. We've got new enemies. It says plus 100%. Did we heal them for some weird reason? I don't know, maybe to go on our merciful way. Maybe they're doing a pacifist battle here. Not entirely sure. Although in chapter one, we could do 
genocide. It wasn't really. We didn't actually end up killing anyone. If you guys actually know the details being had there, they actually ended up fleeing. We made them run away. We didn't actually end up killing any enemies in that uh, genocide run that you could uh, try do there. So yeah, maybe they're just going for the pacifist and this is the way uh, this is one way of sparing them and making you show your mercy. I don't know. Again, all spitballing here. We have another image of the city. We had this nearing one year ago, our initial video on Toby Fox giving us news on uh, chapter two. And he did show off this city looking place. Um, that's what he teased to us nearly a year ago as of this video. So yeah, it looks like we got a new shot of that same city but in a slightly different location here we're seeing more of the traffic going on here more of the civilians more of them driving around i don't know why chris looks like he's about to get completely murdered and run down by them though you better run mate you better get off the road seriously i don't know what he's doing and i don't know what he's up to we have these stop signs here with certain numbers Maybe it's kind of a puzzle here and these guys are completely reckless and we have to do something with these signs so there isn't as many cars going by. Maybe it slows them down. Maybe it makes them go faster. Again, spitballing is had. If you guys got any ideas, let me know in the comment section down below. It looks like we got a logo for Delta Rune Chapter 2. It's just the Delta Rune symbol of Chapter 2. And more Japanese writing because Famitsu is a Japanese article so an interesting shot here is that lancer seems to be making a return unless this is an update to chapter one i'm sure once the full game is out because you guys need to remember that these aren't going to be coming out chapterly chapter one was pretty much the demo and our teaser taste to what delta room will be about gameplay wise and a little bit of its story toby is going to going to be releasing delta room when all the chapters are done. He's not going to be doing it, as I said, chapterly. So I'm kind of sure that even chapter one will see changes from what we played however long ago it was now to when it gets officially fully released. I'm sure there'll be changes. So maybe this is one of those changes because I don't remember a screen like this. Also, Chris and Susie are by themselves without Rousey, and that is obviously a thing that was had many times in chapter one. It could be a thing that happens in chapter two, but... I thought Lancer was content, he ended up taking the throne at the end once we defeated the king, so unless he just joins us once again, not entirely sure, or yeah, it is actually an update to do with chapter one and changes are had there. Again guys, let me know what you think, is it something that's going to be had in chapter one, is it like an update to that, is it like an extra added scene or a bit of gameplay, or has Lancer actually returned in chapter two? He's kind of a fan favourite, so I wouldn't be completely surprised if he does return in chapter two, like he's, he's saying that he went out for a bit, he makes a silly joke about why he's not at the royal throne anymore and he's come along to join us you know something like that may happen so yeah our last screenshot here just battling some more enemies it looks like the enemies that we saw at the top actually it looks like they are holding different signs to what they were holding with the medic image we first looked at and talked about here it looks like they're holding more of a lollipop kind of looking sign in the first image and then the last image they're holding just arrows for, for some reason, even their heads are actually arrows now and not the hearty looking lollipop things. But yes, we see Rousey in all his white goat fluffy glory and he looks adorable, man. Aww. Oh, I'm loving him. But again, near his HP, he has the chapter one look of him. So again, does this confirm more of cosmetic changes that we can, you know, do with the characters, make him dress up as medics, make Rousey have his hat off, make him have his hat on. I, I'm really not sure at all, but it looks like we got new battles uh, to be had here, of course, with new battle animations and uh, new attacks that we need to dodge. I don't think we ever saw these skull-like things in chapter one, correct me if I'm wrong. Looks like a completely new attack to be had here. Not really 100% new new because it looks like they're just dropping some kind of lightning stuff that we need to dodge left and right, whatever. And then when it hits the ground here, maybe it creates some kind of earthquake effect or it just kind of shatters on the floor into little particles particles here that we probably also need to dodge so kind of best that we just float in one spot and dodge left to right as i already kind of said there maybe even the skull like things drop once the attacks are all said and done as well who really knows guys again that spit 
bowling. It's all had here. It is. So nothing really else too interesting about this particular image. Of course, yeah, the Rouse is really interesting here. Seeing his full-on revealed sprite. He's looking adorable, and I'm loving his look there, to be honest. I love what he looked like before, but I'm extra loving I'm extra loving this. I really am. So that's pretty much it. We have Papyrus in that corner, though. Will he make an appearance in Chapter 2? We saw San, so it's not too far-fetched that Papyrus will also be in Delta Rune at some point. But uh, will, he have make his, will he make his appearance in Chapter 2, though? We, we really don't know. This could just mean that on the next page, it's talking more about Undertale and stuff. That's what he could be down there for, or yeah, he's there because he's gonna be in chapter two. I don't know, that's pretty much it though guys. I'll, I'll of course leave all the links in the description down below if you wanna check this up in your own time and in, in your own like thorough, uh, and get your own thorough look here. And uh, yeah, you can go along and do all that good stuff. Again, on the actual 15th on Undertale's fifth anniversary, if Toby Fox details stuff that we haven't really talked about here or haven't read officially or whatever from the translations that we read earlier, then I'll definitely do a video if he says something like more important and a little more juicy than uh, what we've already done and seen here. So unless Toby didn't say anything interesting, then I, I won't. Bye. <laughs>